Hello there my crawfish and welcome to the Lobscast. Today we are playing a map by TG Snoop. Now, the rules are just simply place the nexus anywhere you want and change back to survival. I have done both of those. I have gathered my resources, got myself some nice enchanted armor, some pretty cool enchanted swords, enchanted bows, potions, you name it, I've got it. Except kittens. Sadly I don't have any kittens on this map. This map sucks 1 out of 10 because there aren't any kittens. Nah, I... I kid, I kid, of course. This map is looking pretty cool, actually. Now, let's go ahead and put in the Nexus Catalyst. Actually, it, it's, it's fine without kittens. It just needs kitties. Kitties. To be specific, K-I-T-T-E-H-S. Kitties. Kind of like what Danny is. Now, let's see. Are you sure about activating this? No, I don't want to continue my Invasion Mod series. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out of there right... No. No, of course I want to continue. You silly Nexus. Now let's go ahead and play some Obsidian around here, because I can tell I'm going to fail already. Um, right, how are we going to go about sealing this off? Uh, okay, let's just do that, because that seems like <laughs> the best and only course of action at this stage. Now, come on, Obsidian, go ahead and place. Place faster, Obsidian, I need to kill the mobs before they get up here and kill me. And eat everybody else. And then proceed to end the series forever. Hmm, that would kind of suck. Let's see if that's okay or not. Yep. Um, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's a wonderful creation. It's 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 what Minecraft really means in terms of creativity. This is this is a work of art. If anyone says otherwise, they are utterly mistaken. It, a complete work of art. You cannot deny the fact that this is such a great piece of work. Now, hold on just a moment. This hasn't worked. Okay, we are back. We've got it working. It's excellent. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Let's go. Right. Haha, <laughs> enemies are finally spawning. That's brilliant. Yep, I kind of tried to put it up there, and it was like, nope. Then I moved it down the floor. Nope. And I had to finally place it here. So, <laughs> that's about as good as it's going to get for now. Would have been nice if I could have placed it up there, but Mob was like, eh, you see, as much as I'd love for you to have it up there, I'm just not going to let you this time around. I'm sorry about that, even though I'm really not sorry in the slightest. That's exactly what the Nexus said. Don't even deny. You know Nexus can speak. Or Nexi. I don't even know if that's the plural, but I am going to say it anyway, because it sounds fancy. There we go. Take a headshot to the face, you know. That might help you a bit. Actually, where else would a headshot go to other than the head? One must wonder. I guess face is a bit more specific, because, you know, could get a headshot to the back of the head. That would kind of suck, but I don't know. What, what's worse, a headshot to the face or a headshot to the back of your head? Now, bear in mind that you're going to die either way. Which would you rather? <laughs> the random questions. Random questions, random questions. Nobody cares how random they are. They are just there for no real purpose. Now, let's go ahead and kill some more enemies. That would be wonderful. Okay. Hello there, zombies. I heard you like swimming around in the water doing absolutely nothing. That's cool by me, so long as you don't raid the base. If you raid the base, then consider yourself dead. That's just a friendly warning from your neighborhood turtle. Except I'm not your neighborhood turtle. I right never live anywhere amongst zombies. Turtles, you know, kind of favor. Underwater, palaces of sorts. Because, you know, turtles deserve palaces. Believe it. Oh. Really? Really? Hello there, zombie. Think you can uh, come along and destroy my nexus? No. That, that's not very kind at all, is it? Let's go ahead and heal this up with some obsidian. And that will just keep him out for a bit. Keep out the rampscallions. The, ragam the ragamuffins. <laughs> oh, old phrases are funny. Now let's go ahead and... Yeah, you see, spider? There's one small flaw in your plan to invade. You're not going anywhere. Now... See, you've got the right idea. You're going in the right direction. You're just not moving. You're not making progress. And that is why you are going to get shot in the back. Now, I hope you've learned your lesson. You can go ahead and go into the spider afterlife if if spiders believe in afterlife. I don't know. I mean, turtles don't. But I'm pretty sure there is a good chance that spiders do. Since they do live amongst the undead, so they probably believe anything. Right. Squid, you are clearly an enemy. You are an undercover sheep who is disguised as a zombie. 
I don't care how much or how little sense that made. Either way, you are dead by the power of my arrow. <laughs> You're not getting back to life. Squids don't get an afterlife. What, what, what do you think this is? Some sort of privileged area? No. You just have your ink sacs harvested and your body left to rot. Maybe feed some plant life in the future. Not quite sure how uh, the Minecraft squid work, but <laughs> let's just say they work that way. Now, see, that's not very kind, is it, zombie? I mean, going in someone's home, trampling on their lovely purple ornament, which just happens to be summoning you from some random rift plane area. It's just not nice. It's just not courteous. It's, it's not the right thing to do when you're in someone else's home, regardless of why you're there. It, it's just not right. You, you should go hang your head in shame or something along those lines. Hanging your head in shame would be a great idea. Because when you're looking down at the ground, I can just chop your head off. Nope. Never suggested anything. Why would I suggest such a thing? That That's just horrible. I'd never say such a thing. I mean... Who in their right mind would threaten to chop the head of a zombie off? Other than somebody completely threatened and about to die. You see, as long as you don't go around threatening people and killing people, they won't chop your head off. I promise. Unless your name is Sir Zombie Jefferson the 50th Esquire. Yep, unless that's your name, I'm pretty sure you're safe from head chopping. Or if you're up against a turtle. Turtles are relentless when it comes to zombies. You see... Point being, point being, point proven more like. What the hell am I talking about? Hello there, hello. Would you, would you like, would you like a nice little, little arrow in your face? I, I'm pretty sure you would. There you go. See, that wasn't so bad, that was it. Arrows to the face, sir. So, so over exaggerated. They're not that big of a deal, you know. Unless you've been shot several times, then that's when it becomes a big deal. See, you turn red and die. That's not, that's not a great idea, especially when you're trying to invade my base. You should probably work on that. See, dying is a very bad idea when you're trying to get to a nexus. I, I, I'm not sure if you realize that now, spiders, but... See, I've taught them some very valuable lessons today. Pro tip, don't die. Um, when you're going in the right direction, make sure there aren't any stone blocks in front of you, because that would stop you from actually moving. Um, arrows to the face aren't a big deal unless you get shot multiple times. And, yeah, I think the spiders have learned a lot today. See, turtles are very wise. They they know. They know these things. They just know these things. Mm, get knocked back into oblivion. That's cool. That's fine by me. Da-da, da-da. Da-da. Die today. Live tomorrow. Sense, it does not make. But that does not matter, for I am a turtle. And <laughs> I don't need to make sense. When did you ever think me making sense was going to happen? Unless it's in the comment section. It never really does. Right. Zombies facial doom, please. That would be very much appreciated. Need to get on with my day-to-day -day activities of turtleness. Like eating plant life and roaming the underwater world. Killing things. Oh, wait, no, actually, you're helping me with that part. Forget what I said. You're allowing me to progress with my turtley activities. Go on, let me kill you. It's okay. I won't bite, but I may shove a sword through your face, which which is arguably worse. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not exactly a snapping turtle, am I? So it's up to you, really. Either way, you're gonna die. So <laughs> your choice. It's free country, except I'm not entirely sure what the laws of Minecraft are, if there are any, which I I strongly doubt, since you know you can go around blowing up villages and nobody bats an eyelid. Well, it might be something to do with the fact that the flames from your TNT might have burnt off their eyelids, but if they had them, they wouldn't. But they wouldn't bat them. They would not, for they do not care in the slightest. Now, blue spider, you may have evaded my first arrow, but no, no, you will not. Okay, you may have evaded my second arrow, but you will not evade the cross chop of Turtley Doom. There we go, cross chop of Turtley Doom to the face, or. I'm just going to say it was to the face. I don't even know where it hit him. But for the sake of dr dramatization, yeah, I can't even speak. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. I think, I hope. I, I, sh I sincerely hope. Okay. May have a bit of a situation on our hands here. Plan A. Slash till they die. Failing that, run. Run for the hills. Are there any hills nearby? I mean, that's technically a hill. Ah, there we go. That's a hill. Run for the hills. Run. Just a terrible idea. 
Because if something gets to the Nexus, we're screwed. We need to we need to stay around this area. Come on, people. Come on. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. If I had run for the hills, then I'd have died anyway. Now let's get back up here before it does some severe damage. Two. Two. Yeah. Go away, blue spider. Nobody likes you. Except other blue spiders. But even they, even they hate you. You're just that. That. That not likable. I, I couldn't think of the word, so I'm just going to use that and hope that it actually makes sense. Because it probably doesn't. Alright. His goggles may have saved him from toxic fumes, but not from an arrow to the face. Pretty sure goggles can't stop that. Eh, actually, he might be able to. But it, between me and you, let's just let's just not tell them that. Let's just not tell them that. They 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 don't need to know. Why would they need to know such a fact? It's it's not it's not necessary. Now I'm gonna do the most daring thing you have ever seen. Now you may be wondering what could be more daring than a turtle fighting off hordes of the undead? A turtle fighting off hordes of the undead? Well, actually, no, not pausing his game. He's gonna be manly. He's gonna stand there with an obsidian block in hand and take a swig of turtley water. See, Brave Turtle is brave. Ah, and just back in time. To kill the zombie... The zombily? Yes, that's a word. Zombily. The zombily threat. I'm very glad I came up with that term, because it makes so much sense. Right. What, what have we got to get done? I know. <laughs> Should we give the spies another lesson? Okay. Although 360 no scopes off the top of a high point may appeal to 10 year old COD fanboys, A, it helps to actually. Okay, what the hell did I just do? Ah, I think I. <laughs> I think I pressed the number on my gaming mouse to switch to my potion by accident because I was holding down the right click for the, uh, for the bow. May or may not have cast on myself. And the spider, that, that that's quite threatening. But yes, although 360 no scopes off the top of high points may appeal to 10 year old COD fanboys. A, it only appeals to them if you actually hit something, and B, doing it into water, not into the base, is a terrible idea. You're getting, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get my Nexus playing 360 no scope off the top of the field. Because look, let's see if I can 360 no scope someone. Let's go for it. Might be a bit difficult with a new boss. But three seconds. Yep, that got no one. See, 360 no scopes in Minecraft get you nowhere. Maybe with the original bow, but certainly not with this bow. Ah. Uh. A large number of mobs are slipping through the Nexus Rift. Now, that could be a slight predicament. Slight predicament. Where is this Nexus Rift they speak of? I do not see the this Nexus Rift. Therefore, I'm going to assume that I'm perfectly safe and... Wow, that was close. He could have done some severe damage there, but he chose not to, because he's a good Samaritan. One of the better zombies. One of our uh, zombie rehabilitation program members, I believe. We teach zombies to not eat people's flesh, and... To be courteous and to not crash people's homes, especially their fragile ob objects. It's one of our many uh, community services on top of uh, turtle saving. We do a lot of turtle saving and a lot of uh, a lot of tree demolishing because trees are taking up valuable space which should be used for turtle monuments and they need to be removed. But yes, in all seriousness, we should probably actually get some decent stuff. Um, right, do we have any diamonds? No. Do we have a spare bow? No. Do we do we have any string? Yes, we do. Wonderful. Okay, I need one more piece of wood. One more plank. That not a spider in my face. That was not appreciated. That jumped out of nowhere. Ah, success. Oh, there's a wooden plank right there. Let's just go ahead and grab those. That's the first time I've actually managed to successfully get wooden planks without dying horribly. That's wonderful. That's a new point for the series. Okay. Right. We've got this. We've got this. Just gonna go ahead and make ourselves a lovely bow. Fit for a king or a turtle. Pretty much the same thing, except turtles better. Um, okay, you heard it here first. Actually, if you heard it here first, that would kind of suck, because you really need to know how good turtles truly are. Um, right, there we go. A lovely, lovely searing bow. That's just wonderful. Let's go set some stuff on fire. <laughs> Setting things on fire would be a great idea. How about now? Fire! Oh yeah, I'm supposed to turn it to morning when it turns to night so we don't get normal mobs as well and get confused. Ah, die, die, thank you, much obliged. When will spiders ever learn their goddamn... Okay, that spider learned his lesson, he learned to teleport, 
Okay, if he if he face if he headbutts a wall for long enough, he can teleport. That is a great new. Now I'm all for the idea of marching along the base of an ocean in order to sneak attack your enemies, but a this is extremely shallow water, and b you're doing it wrong. Drowning is not part of the plan, I believe. Ah, apparently spiders are. Die. See, the spiders are very, very compliant with my requests, it would seem. Well, it's not like they have that much of a choice. Did they break into a cave? Clever zombies. Somewhat clever, at least. What? Oh, wow. These zombies are these zombies are more intelligent than I first thought. They used wall hacks to see this cave. Or their spidey senses or something. I don't know. Actually, just, wouldn't the spiders use their spidey senses? Don't question logic, or logic will question you. See, even that statement is not worthy of questioning, for it would blow your mind to know the true answer. I have a doubt I just can't bother to explain one of the two. Not entirely sure. Well played. Well played. <laughs> wow. I'm just going to go ahead and repair that before anything too d devastating happens. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead and grab our Rift Flux again before anything too devastating happens. And you know what? I think we'll leave it off for there today. Leave it off for there today. See? Grammar. I I love it. It's amazing. I, I am clearly a great user of grammar and sense and logic and all things turtle related. But yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks again. Uh, thanks again, TT Snoop, for the map. It's a great looking map. Very small, very, um, very small, very nice, very, very simple to defend because sometimes you get these awesome massive maps which take up hours. Then you get the smaller maps which are like really, really kind of cool. The ones which you can knock out of i got a couple of waves here and there, and wow, that is that is a lot. That is a large build up of mobs. See, I was I was making a point, then I saw the mobs, and then my sentence began to make li very little sense. Essentially, small maps are cool; they're very nice. But so are large maps. So are all maps. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm complimenting every kind of map. But yes, <laughs> wave seven. That's cool. I will see you next time. But you, on the other hand, I shall not see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.